Good morning everybody, it's Dr. Brace here. Today we're going to talk about uh, an unusual topic in rhinoplasty and that is a saddle nose deformity. And so a saddle nose deformity is when from the side view you look at the nose and the mid part is sunken in like the saddle of a horse. And this happens from basically rotting or breaking down of the septal cartilage which supports the nose here and the nose sinks in because there's no structural support. Now the cause of this, there's, there's multiple different causes. The most common cause, at least in my practice, is cocaine use. And a lot of people don't know this, but cocaine is such a potent or strong vasoconstrictor that it blocks off the blood supply to the um, lining of the septum of the cartilage, which then causes it to die and it rots and you get a hole in the septum and the nose caves in. The other common cause of this would be surgical. If you've had a septoplasty or a septorhinoplasty before and a hole was uh, created and too much cartilage was removed, the nose can cave in. And then there are weird and wonderful things like vasculitis, which is an autoimmune disease that attacks the blood vessels to the lining of the cartilage and it basically kills the cartilage. And so a common one is called Wegner's uh, granulomatosis or Wegner's vasculitis. And that is what I wanna talk about today. I had the pleasure of helping this lady um, today and I'll show her pictures right here. Um, sorry, I didn't help her today. I helped her uh, a couple months ago. She was referred to me with basically completely eroded and absent septum and a caved in nose and trouble breathing because of the caved in nose, because of the saddle nose. And what we did here was a rib graft rhinoplasty. So I removed rib cartilage and then reconstructed the support for her nose. And this is a challenging surgery because there's lots of scar tissue and there's not a lot of healthy tissue in the nose, but we were able to give her a nose that uh, functions, she can wear glasses and she can breathe. And this is an example of a functional rhinoplasty where we're not doing this purely for aesthetics, although there is an aesthetic improvement, but we're doing this to help somebody look um, basically like they used to look normal from a disease process that has destroyed their nose, but also to breathe better. So that's a functional rib graft rhinoplasty. Send us your questions. Her septum was not able to be reconstructed, so there is still a big hole in her nose, uh, but she now has structural support to hold up her nose, to hold up her tip, uh, so that she can wear glasses and go about her daily life and wear a mask. So send us your questions. Stay tuned over the weekend. I'll be in Washington for the American Board of Facial Plastic Surgery Board exam as an examiner, and uh, hope to uh, keep you guys all up to date. Bye-bye.